How's it gaming guys? I'm Fel in the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We've defeated the Golem Twins that Dalton had sicked on us and now we are ready to finally confront Queen Zeal. I've got Luke in my party, uh, not for any specific reason, I just, things are going to happen, there's going to be some story and I, I, I find Luke hasn't been around for all that much. I've got Robo there too, because I like Robo, why not? So here we go, the music's all crazy and oh, the, even the lighting is all screwed up. And the news all like, this is the Hall of the Mammoth Machine. Now's the time to turn back news. And then he just <laughs> offs himself, I guess. Here we go. Whew. We just made it in time. It's a pity, but I'll have to turn this machine off. A gravitational pull. I sense a dimensional warp. Your... Help! Shala. What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here! Quickly, Chrono! There's no time! Use the knife from Melchior to stop the Memon machine. Here we go, Mune! Ready, big brother. <laughs> so it turns out that red knife we got from Melchior is the Massimune. Holy crap. What a twist. The machine's energy changed the knife into a sword? The Mammon Machine! It's coming. No, stop! That sword alone can't stop it! I... sense we messed up. Oh, yeah, I think we messed up a lot. Oh, God, I think we messed up a lot. I hope you are prepared for one of the hardest battles in the game. Let's do it. Here is Lavos himself, and he starts off with destruction rains from the heavens, and guess what? It kills you. <laughs> you you are not meant to survive this attack. Um, you can win this. He has 30,000 HP. You can technically beat him if you level up enough or you're doing New Game Plus. And if you do beat him, you actually get the best ending in the game. But whatever. We're not going to be able to do it. I've waited for this. <gasps> the Prophet was Magus all along! I have been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. It is time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. What do you think you can do? Where are we? <laughs> I'm guessing this is like the time... Not, not like a gate, but like it's a weird warp. Kind of a different dimension, almost. Hmm. A false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you also. <laughs> help! Whenever you add the extra E's, it just reminds me of Pauline's yell for help in Donkey Kong. Come, Prophet, feel the power of Lavos. Lavos is just like, all right, I got a new, I got a new girl. Ugh. Ah, my powers are being drained. Ugh. I won't be beaten. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah. Looks like he had some of that red rock style thing too. What? It doesn't work. Ah, but did not help. Damn, poor Magus. So he called up Lavos just to destroy him. Huh, you gotta wonder why. Like, what is his backstory? Foolish one, your measly powers can't touch Lavos. This is from me to you. You shall enjoy eternal life as part of Lavos. <laughs> just get a little laugh. <laughs> a little laugh animation. There's not much we can do right now. <laughs> Uh, are you all right? At this rate, we'll all... Oh. The dimensional warp is getting bigger. We cannot stay. You'll notice everyone's actually getting dragged to Lavos slowly. And we actually can control Kronos right now. He's the only one who was strong enough to kind of do anything. Let's talk to our people. If we are caught in that energy field, our molecular structure will be disrupted. Oh, Lucas says nothing. Oh, there we go. Science has finally failed me. Really? I mean, you were using magical rocks and knives and stuff. It's not really science. 
Uh, and Mag, if you talk to him, is actually just really upset about Shala. Shala, are you all right? But if we go up to Lavos, haven't given up yet? What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? <laughs> See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. Colonel, are you going to fight him? I don't think you can do much. Maybe I can cast Luminaire. Yep, there we go. Oh god, I'm not casting Luminaire. What is happening? Stop, Chrono! Chrono. Chrono? I don't know who's saying that. <laughs> I'm guessing Luca? I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's it's good for all the characters. They'd all say his name, so. But yep. With that, Chrono, believe it or not, is dead. Which sucks, because he was very powerful. <laughs> he was my best character. Seeing how you are forced to have him for the entirety of the game up to this point. I can't beat him. Lavos. Chrono, there was nothing I could do. The palace, palace is collapsing. collapsing. We, we must, must escape now. The last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate my mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now, off you go. I like Meg's pose here, just kind of accepts it. Man, who expected Magus to come back after all this time? It's been like nine episodes since we've seen him. Oh no. Yeah, I hope you're ready for a episode of basically story. A lot of stuff's happening right now. So Lavos is finally on the surface of the earth again, shoots off his lasers. I remember when I told you that you have to do everything you needed to do in Zeal right away because <laughs> it's not really going to be there anymore. I really love this though. It's it's one of the best like sequences in the game. I'm actually surprised you don't see like any destruction in um, like it showed Kajar there, but it was just kind of shaking. But yeah, you thought um, Mountain of Woe crashing was gonna make a big tidal wave. Whew, whew. That's like that's all that's left of. of of uh, Zeal right there, too, the big rock. Huh, that was it, huh? It's not too bad. A tidal wave! Actually, you'd think the, the crashing would have been louder, but yeah, tidal wave, here we go. Ooh, yeah, I might want to run away. Some heroes we were. Really couldn't do anything there. Couldn't stop Zeal, couldn't stop Labos. And this is another reason why I think that the timelines are threads. Because this has already happened. You cannot go back in this time before this happens. So this is already done. So that thread has passed this part of the timeline. So you can't go back to it and save countless of hundreds of people. So Hold it, Chrono! Chrono! It's too dangerous, Chrono. Chrono. I also like putting Luca there. I ship Luca in Chrono more than I ship Marley in Chrono. So I, I think most people put Marley at these types of places because she gets like the emotional outcries and stuff. Because most people think it, like, it, it's pretty much canon that they're together, that they're they're the the romantic couple. But I, I like Luca better than Marley, so I like putting her into these situations more. Chrono. Um, you're awake. Also, the spelling in your was incorrect there. You were delirious. Chrono! Where's Chrono? We found no one else. So it wasn't a dream. Is this, this the Earthbound village? village? This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. This is so depressing. 
No air is safe, and there isn't much of a future to look forward to. Is Sir Melchior here? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal had materialized. Melchior tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. A black portal. No, no doubt, doubt a gate made by Lavos. What about Shala? I don't know. No one has seen her since. Epic. Is it intact? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Even though it's a rock. <laughs> it doesn't move. Oh, this must be yours. Marley's pendant. The one that Chrono kept for her. It was at your side, like a guardian. Chrono. Take all the time you need to rest. I'll be in the commons. So yeah, now, for the first time in the game, you have a chance to change your party with any combination. This is super important, and I do want to thank H.C. Bailey. Um, most of these strategies I've gotten through playing the game through four years, reading walkthroughs, uh, watching various Let's Play. This one specifically was H.C. Bailey who mentioned it, and I thought it was a great idea. Put Roto Robo at the at the front of your party, and it needs to be the front of your party for this. Um, and, and the rest is like you can do this too, but I, I agree. Put Ayla in your party and put Luke in your party. They don't matter in the sense the, of where they are in the party, but um, Ayla should be in your party for what's coming up. It doesn't. She doesn't need to be. It's just kind of a difference of slightly how things are going to work. But for this specific strategy that I want to do, Robo needs to be at the head of your party. So, sorry Marley, sorry Frog. All right, it's kind of weird controlling another character than um. Um, yeah, sleep. <laughs> Again. Stay inside this little haystack. Uh, it's weird to control someone other than Chrono, but yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> That's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Yay, we're rested. Let's save up. Also, um, on the left where I've been having people's equipment and stuff, I've been lying. Uh, I did, I unequipped Chrono before the start of this episode, so that, um, his stuff is still good. Mind you... I'm not really changing everyone's anyone's things, but like that way, if anyone needed to use the gold stud, for example, it's available. So I took off all the stuff and put weaker things so that I can have his equipment. So if I needed the um, black mail or, or something like that or whatever it was that I had on him, um, so yeah, I'm gonna switch up my stuff, but it's nice. To, actually, yeah, I'm gonna take out the black vest and put the black mail because it's stronger and absorbs shadow fully. So there we go. So hooray! Not much here, unfortunately. There's the last village, and then there's uh, the commons over here. And you can see um, the epic is over there, but we can't we can't actually access it. We're, we are stuck in this time zone, even though you can press Y and uh, change your party, which means technically you have access to the uh, end of time, but we technically don't, so. A few enlightened ones did survive, but no distinctions remain between the enlightened ones and the earthbound anymore. Does that mean they can't use magic anymore? A moonstone left in a sunlit spot for millet. Thanks. Why are you telling me that now? You've already like told me that, and like you'd think you'd be like a little bit more worried about what's been happening. Guess not though. Uh, check back with him because his wear is very from time to time. Oh, it's the the new who used to sell me things, and nothing good. But at least there's stuff there. Uh, I'm just buy a couple shelters. Why not? They don't cost all that much anymore, and we're pretty good for everything else. Buy some heels actually. They're incredibly cheap, so might as well. Revives are good. Yeah, we're fine. Um, you can wait a little bit, and then the new will leave, and you can get the uh, magic tab behind him. So, oh, was there another thing there? It actually looked like there was another thing. Um, shit. Like, shining after I'd gotten that magic tab. Unless it just the animation for the tab didn't disappear. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Yay. And the commons. And a couple more people to talk to. Gotta seize the day. Sure, okay. How can I survive in this land without my magic? You don't need magic to survive. Besides, you're not alone. You're absolutely right. We're alive and there's always hope. Wow, that was that was easy. I am sad. Don't be sad. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we grew too dependent on a dangerous force. Yes, you did. Everything and everyone sank to the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot of people dead. I mean, you could actually probably count the amount of people that died because of what happened. The sea of clouds has parted and the blizzard has finally abated. Could the long winter be finally over? I mean, technically the winter started in, like, millions of years ago, so all you know is winter. So, that's a little weird. This one's sad. Uh, must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. Just a little small child there. Like, 
I find that sad. Um, make sure your party is the way you want it, because once you talk to the Elder, you cannot change it. All rested up. Bow and pay homage. Homage? Homage? I never know how to pronounce that. It's homage, I think. Uh, to our new liege, King Delton. Oh, great. He's still around. Ow. Sticks. No more sticks. Oh, very mean. Oh, fireballs. That's a little bit more Delton-y. Still has got his dance moves. Glad he's still in good spirits. You there, what's wrong? You're lucky to be alive. The old crone and the pesky gurus are gone. I now rename Zeal the Kingdom of Dalton. Doesn't really flow off the tongue very well, Dalton. You? You're alive? Ah, that vehicle outside must be yours. It's just like the one Balthazar was building. I've decided you don't deserve such a splendid toy. Henceforth, it shall be my personal chariot. Impossible. You'll have to come with me. You might start a rebellion or something. You could just kill them. And now is a token of my esteem for you. Take this! Everyone's just like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your arms can deflect fireballs. How's this? And then for some reason, everyone turns around and the fireballs hit them. I don't get that. I believe they translated that better in um, the DS version where he actually says, like, look behind you. It's stupid, but at least it's an explanation. This was just dumb. <laughs> Enjoy a little taste of my true power, which is kind of being a douchebag, really. So, yeah, we are captured. Oh, no. And who knows where we are, though, because, I mean, all we had that was that small landmass. But there was that one area in Zeal that we don't, we didn't get to really see very much. Where is this? Weapons! All gone! Well, you don't have a weapon, Ayla. You just have your fist. Unless you're storing Luca's gun and Robo's hand. <laughs> Featuring Ayla trying to figure out how a gun works. Our items, too! The, the money, money has, has also been stolen. stolen. The money that can be used in no matter what space-time we are in. This is depressing. Ayla, fight! Get all weapons back! Destroy bad man! That's why you have Ale in your party. This whole little section, by the way, um, like they said, all your weapons are gone, all your items are gone, everything's gone. You can't equip anything on anyone except for Ayla. She doesn't have her equipment, but she has her fist. If you don't have Ayla in your party, which, because I, yeah, wait, you can change characters? Wait, you could, no, you can't. Holy crap, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Um, with Ayla in the party, you can fight back. Without Ayla, though, this is actually a sneaking mission until you get your weapons back. It's kind of interesting, but I actually like just being able to use Ayla and just do what I want to do. So, you also notice, if anyone's been paying attention to the other saves I have on this cartridge, um, the New King is where that third save is, and I'm finally caught up to it. So, yay. Uh, we have a ladder here, so not a very good prison cell with, a, you know, a ladder. So, we're just going to go up, and... Oh, shit. We are airborne. Sky? Then we're inside. The Blackbird? Yeah, so that big airship that we saw way long ago when we first entered Zeal is finally coming to the story, so... Luca notices something. There's an air duct. You can go up there. But I believe with Ayla, I think you can just... Yeah, serves them right. Without weapons, they're powerless. What we do, Robo? Oh, yeah, so if you want to, you can act sick. This is how you're actually supposed to get out normally, I think. Um, which is really funny if uh, you have Frog in your party. Um, or you can... Oh, actually, maybe this is the only way you can get with Ayla. Um, but you can also climb up here, so you can do either way. You can sneak around or, or fight. But sneaking around is kind of fun, so let's do that at first. But if you don't have Ayla in the party, yeah, we can check out the lower deck from here. Oh, yeah, you can um, look down the, uh, the grates and you can actually see things. But if you're ever caught or, like, we're supposed to get into a fight and you don't have Ayla in the party or your equipment back, you will just get recaptured. So. There's also a tab around here, but for some reason it only appears after you've gotten all your equipment. So. Basically just run around until we find um, another ladder. And with Ayla in the party, we don't have to really care if we get captured or not, so. Weirdly enough, you also don't set up for battles. Like, usually you go into specific areas. But on the Blackbird, you just kind of, like, Ayla's, I guess, fighting on a ladder. It's, it's very odd. And your other characters, I don't think, can actually get hurt. Because they're not technically in the party um, during, like, the battles. So. 
I think. Let me check. Yeah, it, no, no, they're there. They just can't do anything. I wonder if they can get hit. Anyways, the enemies here are not very difficult. Ayla can take care of all of them with a single hit. So it doesn't really matter. To be honest, having the, um, I guess the counter thingy would be good, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Nothing here is too difficult. So I don't know if your characters gain TP, because I'm not sure if they're part of the fight. I don't know, I don't know. Ayla's equipment's back, which is like the worst one to find at first, but whatever. You can now do various things, so yay. Um, I'm going to equip her. Oh, I don't have the rest of the stuff, so I only have Ayla's specific equipment. Okay, well, whatever. But, well, you again. A lot of these fights are just going to be Ayla just straight up attacking. But, yep, you want to go around and find all your stuff. Weirdly enough, so the, the actual end to this dungeon is way up north. Um, you're trying to get to the top of the Blackbird. And you can do it, and you don't need to find the rest of your stuff. Um, I think you need to at least... Oh, nice, I learned Dino Tail for Ayla, uh, which means her last thing is Triple Kick. I need 990 for it. These guys getting stuff, 926. Area Bomb. I don't have Area Bomb yet. 85 for Area Bomb. i got to find Robo's things. If he's not gaining, gaining TP, then that's bad. I need Area Bomb soon. Um, but, what was I saying? <laughs> uh... Yeah, you, you, I think you need to find all three people's equipment. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, they're all here. and I, The only thing I've got is Dino Tail for um, Tailspin. Actually, Tailspin is an area effect. Let's use that one. Yeah, it's like a wind kind of move. It only attacks around her. That's what makes it not super great, because it has to be around her, but hey, they're all going to just be around her, like, right there, then might as well. Anyways, what I was saying was you need to find all your character's equipment, but you can move on after that. You don't need to find the rest of your equipment, the rest of the items, or your gold. Uh, you can just move on, I believe. I had never tried it, because why would you do that? There's nothing here, just more vent. But we don't need to travel around the vent. But, um, you know what? That is it for today. Um, we're going to explore the Blackbird next time and uh, hopefully get all our stuff and figure out what we're going to do now that Chrono's gone. You know, how are we supposed to save the world without our most powerful character? But we'll find out more next time. I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.